Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. How do I change my Verizon router settings? You have two options when swapping routers. Power off the Verizon router, unplug its Ethernet, and wait overnight before plugging in your own router. Log into the Verizon router, release the DHCP lease, plug the Ethernet into your own router, and then power it on. How do I get into my Fios router settings? Connect to your Verizon Fios network. You can connect using either a wired, LAN, or Wi-Fi connection. Open a browser and go to 192.168.1.1. Enter username and password. The default Fios router administrator password is located on the sticker on the side of your router. How do I access my router settings? In Android, settings menus vary from phone to phone, but once you find the Wi-Fi settings, Make sure your phone is connected to your router's Wi-Fi network. Tap on the network name. Look for a gateway, router, or other entry in the list. Do I have to use Verizon Fios router? Fios can be configured to provide an Ethernet connection from the ONT. This makes it easy to use a non-Verizon router. However, reports are that Verizon will not complete a Fios install without one of their routers, regardless of if Ethernet or Mocha is used. You can buy or rent a router from Verizon. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.